I'm not confessing, testifying, or apologizing for anything. I'm not trying to fill a time slot, plead a case, nor do I expect you to tune in. Well, my father was a photographer, and so very early on I had access to working with him in the dark room, and my very first job actually was um, in photography. I was the official paper safe watcher, so I would make sure that the paper was always safe so that when the lights turned on, the paper wasn't exposed. And so, um, you know, I would go in with my dad and kind of help him make prints. He was doing, he was re-photographing the family album for everyone in the family. And um, some of the really, really old ancient photographs that were falling apart. Um, we were photographing them and then we would print them again and we were making new albums. And so we spent a lot of time in the dark room and I was really mystified and amazed at, you know, these images showing up through this chemistry. I'm not obligated to be objective, on schedule, or provide emergency broadcast information. I'm not pushing special effects, using the newest technology, or selling animation as content. It was very important for this department to have a strong connection to the students. And each student is not a number. Each student has its own individual personality, its own individual needs, its own individual um, structure or, you know, persona. I'm not promoting a social position, political agenda, or offering a moral alternative. I'm not showing my genitals, breasts, or inner fantasies. People, when amongst groups, do not portray themselves as who they really are, putting on a show and disguising their true nature. Humans by nature are selfish, greedy, vain, and look out, in the end, only for themselves. On the outside, someone may be viewed as a nice, caring, friendly person, but if you were to delve deeper inside that person's heart, you would find the true crux of their human friend like um it's so actually we we play uh facebook scrabble so um i'm beating her pretty bad right now you remember this you know? but um you know she's just she's really easy to talk to and just to go see can't, get can't hear you what can't get past the burn. okay it's why the why is the burning bothering you because you can smell it yesterday in the dark. i think we we're all bothered <laughs> by that jake <laughs> Um, but why, why is the burning bothering you? It's too little crack. Explain, what do you mean? It goes above and beyond to help us, and she's real, she's always there for us whenever we need anything, and she's just an awesome teacher. I've been here for a while, it's my fifth year, and um, you know, I've had other photo professors, and it was kind of just like the same like run around, you know, and um, it wasn't actually until last year I had her back-to-back -back semesters, what about the and um, what I liked about her is she kind of, she kind of wanted to know what you wanted to know, like what you wanted to get out of photography. So um, she really made her mission through an independent study to um, really drill me on what I was interested in learning and getting from classes because you know when you take like intro, intermediate, and then like some other intermediate photography. It's a lot of repetition, and I kind of got sick of it. And so she basically threw out the syllabus. I'm not abused, homosexual, or in therapy. I'm not traumatized by my parents, family history, or my religion. You know, I feel in some ways like I'm still writing the story about how, um, you know, how what it's like, or how did I get to be a teacher? Because I don't feel like I I can explain that. Um, because you know, like I said, I, I'm not. I didn't expect to be a teacher and um, I didn't expect to have this kind of responsibility um, and it's sort of strange because you know like I was saying you know to look around and say oh my gosh you know how did I get to this point this was not what I planned to do and um, you know putting me in charge or being so responsible for bending the minds of individuals you know teaching them to be photographers teaching them to be new media artists or you know photographic artists or you know, whatever they decide to do in a way. It's just sort of strange thinking about having that sort of power, that responsibility, and um, I find that really humbling. I, you know, I just do my thing, and I, I'm really, it's really important to me that um, it's done well. And so I, I don't think of it as, oh, I'm, I'm the definitive word. It's just I want, you know, students to have as much information as they possibly can because I only get them really for like two years in a BA program, and so I want to give them as much as they can so that they're ready 